Hello everybody, I would like to do a video about some books that I bought from some online, some from a bookstore. Um, three of them were the suggestion of um, Love Sophia ASMR. Um, she, could, she said they were kind of like romance novels, but I actually found two of them in, well, w one of them actually was in the uh, young adult section and the other two would have been as well if I had gotten them there but I got them at the bookstore. So the first one is The Conspiracy of Us, um, Map of Fates, The Conspiracy of Us. It's a book, an adult a young adult novel uh, series. There's three books. It's uh, written by Maggie Hall. And it basically says 16 year old Avery Wells' newfound family is part of a powerful and dangerous secret society known as the Circle of Twelve. And they believe Avery is the key to an ancient prophecy. Some of them want to use her as a pawn, some want her dead to unravel the mystery threatening her life. Avery must follow a trail of clues from monuments of Paris to the back alley of Istanbul and two boys who work for the circle. Um, beautiful, volatile, stellan and mysterious, magnetic Jack. But both boys are hiding secrets of their own and when the clues expose Stunning new information. Avery realizes the conspiracy they could destroy Could destroy her life if it doesn't destroy the world first now from what I've been told This book series deals with a love triangle. So between the three of them the two boys and her on the cover I'm guessing so that is book one. I got that. I got this from Amazon It's a paperback um, used, of course, uh, and this I think is new, and um, this is the one that um, a lot of Sophia kind of brought up on her channel. She really liked the pink cover, the beautiful pink hues cover, and it's also pink on the back. This is the second book, Maggie Hall, Map of Fates, A Conspiracy of Us. So. It's actually a conspiracy of us books, but each one has a different, I guess this is the first one that I just showed you. And this is the second one, this is a hard cover. I believe it's new. Praise for the Conspiracy of Us. A Da Vinci Code style thriller for teens. Yes, please, teenvogue.com. An intense page turner filled with intrigue, lush settings, and a dash of romance. This is one sitting read. I guess it, you just read the whole thing. Um, a Fun Wild Ride, USA Today. And the other one was by Hypabble.com, whatever that is. A cinematic puzzle solving action adventure, Kirkus Reviews. This fine mix of adventure and romance will easily pull readers while a cliffhanger ending let me just move this this is going to be annoying for this video this is a air freshener so let me just move that um this fun mix of adventure and romance will easily pull readers into a world of just believable enough conspiracy theories while a cliffhanger ending will leave them eagerly awaiting the next installment of the adventure book list Thrilling and addictive, Hall's debut is a knockout. This is an outstanding novel by an impressive author to watch. RT Reviews. This is a fun, fast read. Boy, Hall sweeps readers into a world of conspiracies, puzzles, and mystery. Perfect for fans of Rick Riordan's The Red Pyramid, Ali Carter's Gallagher Girl series, and Michael Scott's The Secrets of the Immortal... Nicholas Flamel, School of Library Journal. Okay, so these two books, book one, book two, and The Conspiracy of Us is a kind of like a kind of romance novel mixed with uh, The Da Vinci Code. So I can't wait to read 
those, and then this is another one that was suggested, the, uh, these two were suggested by Lon Sophia ASMR, this one was suggested by her as well, in her librarian flirts with you, um, uh, a video, which is very good, so this one's called Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lanny Taylor, now I got this brand new, but there is, I don't know if you could see it, a scratch like right there. I wish I would have picked another book. I think there were a couple of copies, but once upon a time, an angel and a devil fell in love. It did not end well. Around the world, black handprints are disappearing on doorways, or appearing on doorways, scorched there by winged strangers who have crept through a slit in the sky. And in the tangled lanes of Prague, a young art student named Karu is about to be caught up in a brutal out otherworldly war when a stranger beautiful haunted Akiva fixes his fire colored eyes on her the result is a star-crossed love who is roots during deep of a violent past from master storyteller and national book award finalist Lanny Taylor comes a sweeping and gorgeously written modern fantasy about a forbidden love an ancient epic battle and hope for a world remade. This was described kind of as a um, fantasy kind of uh, romance novel, but again, it is a uh, adult, young adult novel. So young adult novel. So that's another one. And this is the final book I will show you guys. <clears throat> Michael Crichton and Robert Patterson, Eruption. Uh, the story behind this was. Okay, so basically Michael Crichton died. I think he was in his 70s or 60s when he died. Uh, uh, I want to say 60s. He would have, uh, No, probably 70s. He, not either 60s or 70s. He would be in his 80s now. When he died, his wife was 45. She was pregnant with her son, so she wants to uh, let her son see some of the work that his father did. This was a book she found that was not published. And it was not finished. So she got Robert Patterson to finish the book. Now this is the back just to give you a look at it. If you want to see. And it basically says a history making eruption is about to destroy the big island of Hawaii. And the U.S. military has made a terrible mistake that could mean the end of life as we know it. Wow, sounds pretty cool. And Crichton is the master storyteller. I love his writing. So I can't wait to read these books. I'm currently uh, in the middle of reading um, a book about um, meditation. Like it's, it's, it's about um, med meditating and stuff and how it can calm you down, how it can make your mental health better and stuff like that. So can't wait to finish that one and then start up. I think, um, I don't know where I'm going to go next. I think I'm going to go Star Wars next, actually. Hold on a minute. Let me show you the Star Wars book I'm going to read. Okay, everybody, I'm back. The book I want to read is this Star Wars book. It is in the High Republic era. So this is uh, the last show that just aired. The um, uh Acolyte was at the end of the High Republic era. So this is like, I want to say, uh, maybe 200 years or so before that, or 100 years, 100 or 200 years before that. Um, it doesn't really say, okay. I don't want to read the whole thing, but it's basically the start of the, uh, old, of the um, High Republic era. So like, Yoda is, in this timeline, but we don't see him. But at the end of the High Republic show, The Acolyte, you see the back of Yoda's head, and it is like a spoiler for another season. So, can't wait for that. Can't wait for that. So, these are just some books that I am super excited about. I hope you enjoyed my video, and I hope you enjoyed my different location here. I'm in the uh, bathroom for the middle of the house. Uh, there might be a nice echo in here. I thought it would be a nice place to do a video. And hope you all really enjoyed the video. Have a great, great day or night whenever I release this video. Um, thank you and have a great day or night.